What is up? It's Monkey Boy Blue, and, I'm, and today we're playing Game Dev Tycoon. So, first of all, I have played this game on the old channel, but I'm gonna start over and play it again on this one. So let's just get right into it. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start every ver your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of a market. Before you can start your adventure, you have uh, have to give your upcoming company a name. All right. Let's call it Monkey Business. With a with a three. And my name is Monkey Boy Blue. I think we could be a female. Right, right, right. I forgot about that. Let's go ahead and make her look just like that. How about that? That's cool. Y'all like that? Yeah. Yeah. Give her a nice vest. Is she gonna wear that every day for the rest of her life? Yeah, let's just go ahead with the vest. Heck, yeah, I want to import all the game hints from the other one. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? <laughs> How do you play this again? Alright, so, start developing a game. You're in the garage of your house, with your car. Kind of looks like the Back to the Future car. The DeLorean! All right, game concept. Wait, what? Can we just pick a topic real quick? These are all terrible. All, all of these are terrible. Let's go with airplane. Pick a genre. Let's go with strat, uh, simulation. Yeah, simulation. Pick platform. I think the PC is obviously the better. Even without the hints, I think the PC is just a better fit for this type of thing. All right, so let's call this game uh <laughs> Snakes on this Can you can you say goddamn in this game? Goddamn plain. No profanity in the name of the game? No. Oh, we can. 2D graphics, text-based, text-based for sure. Where the heck did she get 60,000 bucks? Snakes on this goddamn plane. Okay. So, we don't need story and quest, apparently. That's, that's what it says at the bottom. This is probably good, and that's, you know, that's good. Hey, man, I was super far in this game. I'm going to use the hints. Okay. Got to use the hints. Dialogue. That's weird that you really don't need dialogue. I would think that since it's a text-based. Level design, artificial intelligence. See, I'm still confused on what that actually means. Is this like aliens? No, I'm just joking. Let's move this, this microphone over a little bit since I'm not going to be running from any dolls. This is a, a real chill game, you know, you just put games together. Probably should explain that to you in the beginning. Yeah, so you just put games together, world design. I don't think that's even necessary in the text-based game. Maybe it is, I don't know. Let's just put it right there. Maybe let's just leave everything like that, as long as the graphics are at the top. All right. Ooh. Oh. Almost forgot with all the bugs in there. Gotta get those to be finished. You done? You done? Okay. Got a new topic. New combo. This music is jamming, y'all. Usually I play this game without any music whatsoever, but... It's pretty bland, so you know how that goes. 
the results have, or the reviews have came in for this game. Ooh, we're looking pretty low here. Could have been better. Huh. Fun at stages. Okay. What's my first game? Don't sell me short. Quirky but good. Yeah. I don't have any good topics. Like an airplane transport. Really? Monkey Business, a new comer in the game industry, has just released the first game, Snakes on His Goddamn Plane. The game received fair um favorable reviews with such a good star. Monkey Business are sure to gain fans quickly. Yeah, really? Oh yeah. That's all it sold. Whoa, we made it in the charts at number 53. <laughs> We have 17 fans. All right, that's more fans than I have on my channel. Hi, subscribers. Love you all. Let's watch the money go up. Oh, I can actually make another game while this is happening, can I? All right. So let's do a little bit of research on a new topic because aliens. Okay, we got comedy, but we can. Wait, do we have the oh these are the ones we can learn aliens or sci-fi which ones do you want to do now see I'm asking you but I don't get any comments until after the videos out so I guess I'll just go ahead and pick what I think you guys would pick you guys would pick aliens right right well what is this we can't do okay Shouldn't take too long. I'm sitting on my bed with my legs crossed. My legs are killing me. All right, has achieved company sale record with over 10,000 units. So this is an important milestone in the history of monkey business. No monkeying around in this monkey business, monkey boy, monkey, monkey girl in this case. You have successfully researched the new topic, aliens. Okay. So how many of you have actually played this game? Or even wanted to play this game. It's now off the market. All right. It sounds like Sims music. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I have to make the new games. Generate game report. Nah, we're good. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. Actually, get the game report. So we. This is how you get. Um. This is how you get the hints and everything for. Uh, future games that you're gonna make so you do the research you get more research points and then you wind up understanding like what you did wrong and the benefits of the things that you did right so always make sure you do that if you play this game our post release analysis of snakes on this goddamn plane is complete and we got the following results level design seems to be quite important for this type of game all right so I don't know if we knew that already I can't just rewind time and go back and be like, oh, oh yeah, we need that. All right. Develop a new game. All right. First, I always like to pick the topic before I pick the name of the game. So let's let's go with let's just call this alien. And then we'll and then if this is good, we might do an alien's revenge or an alien two or something like that. So pick the genre. Um, I don't know how action and adventure would do on this, the PC. So actually not not bad at all. Let's go with action. Oh yeah, look at all the the plus points for doing it on PC. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys now that the G the G4, I think that's what it's called. Will this is gonna take a little bit more money. But it will um it'll go out of business. I mean for you kids out there who are already who, who are super young, who were born in the 2000s, you won't even know what that is. I don't even know what that is, and I was born in 1993. Yeah, I'm old. I'm getting there. I'm an old guy, I guess. I should have made, like, a timer to see when I should stop playing. <laughs> it's like some blues jazz. Okay, I got a lot of research. 
All right, yeah. See, this is this is gonna go very well with all the hints that I've uh, gotten in the in the past. This should be this should be a cinch. According to rumors, the Japanese company Nintendo is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Nintendo. I, I like that they don't use the names. Probably they probably can't. Um, is known for the wildly successful arcade game Dinky Kong, Dinky King. Ooh. <laughs> Dinky, <laughs> Dinky. All right. Many industries ex experts doubt the home gaming console will take off, but we are eager to see what Nintendo will deliver. Holy crap! Fifty-one fans in the first year, month nine, week four. Mm. You good on those bugs? Oh, whoa. 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 I wish she could turn around and be like, when she's done the game. So that way I know that I can just go. Can you edit the name of this game right now? Wow, I didn't know that. You learn something new every day. Let's just go ahead and release the game. I don't think I've trashed any game since I started making games. Okay, the first reviews for our newly released game, Alien, came in. Oh, look at the 10 up there. Okay, so, so I'm not doing that great. But again, this is only my second game. I know, I know, I have the hints, but hear me out. I haven't played this game in a while. Oh, you guys just love saying the same thing. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and make a new game right now. Let's go with let's go with aliens again. No, I did very well on it. Actually, I didn't do very well on any of these. Let's go with vo vocabulary and see what I can dish out for some of these. I don't know how vocabulary is going to do. Let's call it... Um, <laughs> vocab Wheel of Fortune. Oh. No, that's right. Text based. By the way, I can't really even hear myself talk. With all the music in the background, I don't technically know what I'm saying. Maybe I should just lower this stuff down, see how it how it does. I all right, if, and if this doesn't go well, the next time I make a game, I'll raise everything. Today, Nevento has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new home game console called TES, which is something that I have played in my lifetime. Early next year, the console features cartridges, based, ga uh, based games, and uniquely designed controller. Okay, so dialogue seems to be a, a no. I'm going to go ahead and say this is probably right as, as it is while well, that game's cashing in I'm making another game so see how that works world design I think maybe bring that up because last time I did this it didn't go so well I'm not sure if the sound or world design is any better or uh, which is better than the other in this case. I'll learn. But I do recall playing this game a long time. For a long time. And I think I got to like the third stage of uh, success. Like, I, I don't remember exactly, but I knew I was hiring up to like three or four people to work on the games with me. And we went to like. I don't know what it's called. G3? G4? or Something like that. One of those two. Oh, the sales went up from the other game, by the way. If you wanted to read that, you can go back and pause it. But yeah, the sales went up from the last game. Alright. I'm waiting to level up. So I'm wondering, if I trash a game, will these... Levels be non-existent. 
non-existent hint. Today, the new game. Holy crap, it's year two already. Platform TES, my Nintendo has been released. I got 137 fans, so I guess I should stick to what I'm good at once I find out what I'm actually good at. The first reviews for our newly released game, Wheel of Fortune, came in. Oof. Can we go a little bit faster here? I'm, I don't want to see a lot of sixes. Okay, so focusing on that for a simulation game worked out very well in my favor. Let's go ahead and do some research here. You know, some new topics. Dungeon. This was the very first one that I was actually good at. Like, I, I think Dungeon was probably the best sort of games, uh, the best type of game that I ever made. Hi, I've just finished Wheel of Fortune and I am impressed by your talent. I'm in the contracting business and we could use your skills skills like yours. If you are ever short on cash, just let me know and I will see if I have some work for you. We're getting contract work already. Doesn't look like I'm short on cash. I'm making bank <laughs> by making games by myself. <laughs> like you're a superhuman, huh? Now nah, I'm not gonna buy any more with my or use any more of my research. So I need to get up to 50 research points and I can start going. What exact? Oh, whoops. I can. I'm just gonna go ahead and generate the reports for these the last two games and I also check out the the score that they got overall. Okay, vocabulary and simulation is a great combination. Engine seems to be quite important for this type of game. World design seems to be not very important. Okay, yeah, so I probably shouldn't have brought that up. Well, now I know. I think I'll make. I think I'll make one more game. Okay, and then I'll end the episode there. So six. Oh. Almost to 50. Well, the fortune is now off the market. It sold 15,365 uh, 15, units, generating 170,800 in sales. Okay, so world design seems to not be very important for this type of game. And I did that twice, so I probably should have checked that. All right, before I end the episode, I am going to make a dungeon game called. I don't know. Dooming all nights. Dungeon. I did very well, like I said before. I think it was RPG for sure. And it was also on this. On PC. 2D. Oh, wait. What? Oh, I can't remember. Was it 2D graphics or text based? Ah. Uh, I think it was 2D graphics, text-based. Why would I have done text-based? It's not. It's an RPG, so of course it would be 2D. Uh, oh, where are my hints for this, man? I thought I had hints. Story and quests should be definitely be up there. Gameplay and engine probably low. Man, I can't remember. It must. It must have been text-based. Ah. Oh. I think it was text-based. Level design, artificial intelligence may not be very important for this. Dialogue. I don't see why dialogue is is not important for text-based when everything is in the little bubbles. I don't know, you guys. I might not do so well on this. Can you change it? Nope. Okay. So graphics, maybe not so important. World design, maybe less important. No, graphics are probably more important than world design, and then sound seems to not be that important at all. Finished, really? Because it seems like you have five bugs.
You good? You good? Now, now you're good. All right. In the past, I've released games where I had bugs in them. It doesn't affect it too much as long as most of the bugs are out. But it's just like the first time I did it, it's just like, ah, <laughs> I released the game with bugs in it. No. Like every game that has ever come out in the world. First reviews for our newly released game, Dooming All Nights, came in. I actually like that name. Ooh, this is probably going to be pretty bad. Seven Beautiful. Okay, I, I was definitely not expecting that. I like it. Whoa, love it. See, I do pretty good on dungeons. Maybe I should make a dungeon game in real life and call it Dooming All Nights. Get it? Because it's nighttime. But I'm actually talking about the knights because you're fighting. <laughs> All right, so the home console by Nevento has proven to be massive successful, massive, to be a massive success. My bad. Okay, so the sales numbers exceeded expectations by far. I don't really think I have any uh, topics that would relate to a home console such as this. You know, I don't have Murray or Brothers or something like that. <laughs> Maybe I can invent that before they do, since I went back like 35 years. Okay, maybe not 30. Maybe, maybe 30 years, maybe? I guarantee you there were games out before I was born. That's not even like a question. Keep selling those games, yes. Ooh, sell those games, sell them, sell them, sell them. Wow. I think this might be the most weeks that we've had so far for a game being sold. Okay. Yeah, that's... So we're going up every time, and we're getting a lot of fans. That's good. All right, guys. I'm going to end the episode right there. Thank you so much for watching. My legs hurt, so I might be uh, recording at a different location next time. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will... Why is it every time I try to end the episode, something always popping up? Recent studies suggest that the increasing variety of gaming devices also creates a, a market for more specialized games. Some platforms become more popular when younger gamers, uh, well, with younger gamers, while other cater for more mature age groups. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect, yeah, expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact. New research available. Target audience. Uh, I think that's because I have over over uh, 50 research. I'm not sure. But anyway. <laughs> Don't forget creating custom game engines. This will improve your games a lot. You can create your custom engine through the action menu once you have researched the custom engine. I'm not pressing that. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode.